I just conclude uh, anticipating a question, and I'll take questions. I'm happy to have some questions and comments and discussion. But something else that's been in the news that touches on the subject of historic preservation is the recent sale of the Five Points Theater building in the Riverside uh, neighborhood called Five Points, just south of the approach to the Fuller Warren Bridge. Uh, that historic building, a 1927 office and movie theater building now approaching its centennial, uh, was in a state of deterioration when it was purchased and renovated by a local investor, H.W. Uh, Mike Shad, who restored it to its original exterior appearance and restored the interior and restored it to functionality. It has become a local historic landmark and a tremendous asset to the Five Points neighborhood. It recently has changed hands, Mr. Shad and his family, deciding that they were ready to move on. And uh, the new owners uh, have indicated they are, they do not intend to renew the lease of the existing movie theater, a small neighborhood movie theater that has operated off and on in the building for most of its existence. Uh, this is, has caused uh, quite some energetic uh, advocacy on the part of uh, residents who lament uh, the closing and, and potential disappearance of the old movie theater. And here I think that we can you know, certainly understand uh, the reluctance to see the disappearance of something that has been a cultural artifact to the neighborhood and to so many people over the years. On the other hand, the building does have local landmark status, and so it's not going anywhere. It's not, uh, it's not a candidate for demolition, not a candidate for any, sig any significant external changes. Uh, the owner, the new ownership group with whom I have had conversations uh, have satisfied me that they are credible, history-minded investors, and what they see here in the Five Points neighborhood is uh, the upside for investment in a neighborhood that really identifies itself with its architectural past and its heritage. That's the kind of investor uh, that we want to encourage, I believe, and uh, that we would like to see succeed with their project. They have been able to do what they do uh, for the most part with private capital dollars. I would love it if an investment group like that uh, were uh, in a position to execute on some of our more ambitious projects like the Laura Trio, uh, but we take the victories that we can and build from there.